Hi, this is Shannon Dow with the City of Lancaster's Communications Division. We've got a special treat for you today. Some talented young filmmakers from Antelope Valley High School have produced a video about last year's CIF football champions, Quartz Hill High School and Paraclete High School. Let's take a look. For the 2008-2009 football season, the Antelope Valley's very own Quartz Hill High School and Paraclete High School brought home the CIF championship once again that the Antelope Valley is the place to be. I'm right here with Coach Nagnet. Would you like to introduce us? The CIF Championship players? You bet I would. <laughs> <laughs> this is Delon Brown. He was, a, he was a running back and a defensive back. Uh, this is James Page. He was a defensive lineman and also a running back. Damian Taylor was a tight end and a uh, defensive lineman. And Isaiah Culver was a defensive back and a wide receiver. Sure. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, and a kick returner. He, he was uh, pretty instrumental in, in a lot of the things that, that, that we accomplished. So. We're here in Perkley High School, and we're going to interview the CIF champion. How hard did you guys train? Um, we've been training for months, every day after school, even before school, and for hours of practice, but it's all worth it. And what tactics do you guys use to win the game? Um, mainly speed for, like, all of our games, because we're a lot quicker than a lot of teams. Yeah. Mm. We used, uh, we had experience, really. We, um... We would be in the game and get the feel of the game, and whatever we felt we can uh, beat them with, and obviously the coaches saw that, and uh, we used that against them. Like like he said, our speed, sometimes our strength, and uh, sometimes through the air throwing the ball. We had a good quarterback, you know, he could get it wherever on the field. So, and I feel I feel like most of them were off 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 the field because we was a real close team. We did a lot of stuff together, and off the field it helped us like cope and be together and play as a team on the field. What tactics did you guys use to win the game? Scheme. It's all about scheme. Uh, we always tell the guys, do your job. That's all we want you to do. We never ask you to do any more, any less. As long as you do your job, it's going to pan out in the end. They were bigger and uh, stronger than we were, but we showed with scheme and technique that uh, even the little guy has a chance. In the beginning of the season, did you guys think you guys were going to win the CIF championship? At the beginning of the season, I um, wasn't sure. I was just going into the season, uh, just trying to win each game that we came across. It was going game by game, not necessarily looking at the big picture. It was just a game by game our, deal. Our junior year, after we lost to St. Paul, and we know we could have beat them, and they won the CIF championship, we knew we were capable. But, but in the beginning of the season, this season, we were just taking it one game at a time, and we were just trying to accomplish each goal one game at a time, not looking up to the CIF championships yet. What difficulties and injuries did you guys have to go through this season? Injured. A lot. Yeah. 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 Um, a lot of injuries. Are you probably talking about mine? Yeah. yeah. That's what we're talking about. One of the cornerstones are offensive line. Well, uh, the first game of the playoffs, I broke my wrist, and I thought I was going to be out for the season. And then the f I came back for the finals with a cast on, and I played because that's how bad I wanted to play. So. Man, <laughs> Yeah, Do you think it was worth it? Yeah, I was I would never take that back, so yeah.
Out of all the schools, which one was the toughest competitor? Uh, we have to say Northview. They're much bigger than us, stronger than us, faster than us. And they just, we just came in there and we just played our hearts out and we, we got the victory. When we lost to St. Paul and St. Paul ended up winning the championship, uh, I kind of said to myself, you know, these guys are all coming back and now they've, they've kind of had a taste of the battle. And, and if, if they do the right things in the off season, and, and, and you, you got to understand, there's still a little bit of luck that goes in, in, into winning a championship like this. You got to have the right players, the right people, the right coaches. Um, and uh, I, I thought, like, like the guy said, that we had a, we had a chance to compete. And, but you, you, know, you can't ever get too full of yourself because um, as soon as you start feeling like you're the best, then somebody else comes along and says, hey, wait a minute. <coughs> and uh, I think the Palmdale game really brought us back down to earth uh, early in the season. And we lost to Palmdale. And then from there, we won 10 football games in a row. And I don't care what level you're playing at to win 10 games in a row is, is pretty good. So by the time we got, we got to the championship game, I said, we got a chance. How does it feel to have won the championship game? Uh, it feels great because of all the hard work we put in. And it feels great to be, uh, it's all paid off. Um, it feels great to know that all our hard work paid off and that, you know, we started the season real rough losing our first three, but came out and won 11 straight and it feels really good to know that we're number one. How does it feel to be the CIF champions? Um, at that moment in time, felt like we was on cloud nine and we wasn't going to come down and still right now, I'm going to be honest, I still feel like I'm on cloud nine, so it hasn't went away. How do you guys feel? Yeah, it was unbelievable at first and I, it took a while to hit me. But now that I got this ring, it's really, it's cool. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great feeling. Um, just unbelievable. It's like just having memories of it. Just you just want to relive it over and over again. Just, just wish we had a chance at state. <laughs> it's really great. It's like something that I think we'll never forget, and like it's bring us closer, and we'll always be close for that. Yeah, I think what James said, that, that's something that uh, when they come back for their, for their 20th high school reunion, that will be the number one topic. I want to thank you for uh, the opportunity for us to, uh, to talk a little bit on the success we had in the 2008 season. Um, I've been coaching high school football since 1979 and, uh, you know, at all levels, but this is my, my third year as a head coach and to, and to win the CIF championship with the group of kids that we had was just unbelievable. They, like you'd heard before, uh, we had a little setback last year in the semifinals, uh, but their hard work and dedication and just the will of, the, of all of the players on the team, but especially the seniors, um, who they've won a championship every single year that they've been here, a league championship, and then to, to finalize it and put the icing on the cake with the CIF championship. I was just happy that uh, it was under my watch and I appreciate uh, all of the kids that played football here at Paracleton looking forward to a successful 2009 season. You know, in closing for me, I just want to thank all these guys, especially all the seniors that, uh, you know, in coaching you wait a long time to, to get an opportunity to win a championship. There's a lot of coaches that have never been able to, to say that they've done that. And uh, uh, I owe it all to these guys. Uh, I just, like I said, you know, when you whip a racehorse, he runs. And these guys ran for me. Uh, um, the whole season, and uh, I'm glad that, the, that, that we all get to reap the benefits from that. So, thanks to all you guys. Rebel family on three. One, two, three. Rebel family. That's, that's a, we are champions.